This webinar is proudly brought to you by IG South Africa. Visit igmarkets.co.za to open your trading account today. Um, so, as always, you've got questions, drop them in the Q&A box. Warren did say he's made this one uh, especially hard for us. I'm probably looking at maybe a uh, max of 30 minutes, including uh, the Q&A session, but certainly drop them in the box as they come along. But with that, I'll hand over to Warren. All yours. Thank you, Simon. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, I thought, seeing as this is my last webinar for the year, I'd put something a little bit more complex together. But as you know, Just One Lap and my website have... Uh, straightforward simple strategies. So the two simple strategies that you can go and have a look at on uh, justonelap.com or the tradersplace.coza, a CFD trading system which I named Trend Fishing and the introduction to trading Forex, both of those, the Forex one being a super long-term trending system and the Trend Fishing one being for shorter term trades on shares and some indices uh, over the shorter term but within a long-term trend. So you're welcome to go and have a look at uh, at those if this one is a little bit complex for you. All right, so volatility. Uh, we all know or have heard of volatility and markets are volatile, and that's a very subjective thing. You know, volatility can be suddenly we've got a big candle. Uh, now that could be considered volatile. Sometimes we have short, sharp swings in the market that can be volatility. I sort of reduced this down to one candle at a time uh, and as with most of my stuff I do use a, a moving average to determine the trend. Uh, in this particular one I look at a hundred exponential moving average for trend. If price is above the hundred the trend is considered up. If price is below the hundred EMA the trend is considered down. And we only trade the direction of the trend after the volatility breakout. Uh, one of the things here is you're going to need to know how to do some programming. You would need a piece of software that allows you to write indicators. Uh, I've given you the formula. We'll see the visuals shortly. Basically, how it works is as follows. So you would create the system. Uh, P is the number of periods used to calculate the system. The range is the breakout percentage. Uh, standard one is 150 percent. Uh, I use 80 in this example, so 80 percent of the range. Uh, the price must have broken 80 percent of the historical range. O is open, C is close. And we put it toga together like this. Range 1 is the absolute value of today's open minus today's close. Range 2 is the absolute value of today's open minus yesterday's close. So we're using today and today and today and yesterday. The true range is the greater of R1 or R2. So whichever one of those ranges is the larger, we then use that for the true range calculation. AVGTR is the average true range over P periods. So it would be the ATR over however many periods we choose. I then construct some volatility bands. This is not a proprietary formula. Uh, you can find it on the internet. It is out there. So uh, if you're using Metastock, you can find a formula for it. Or if you're using Ami Broker or one of those pieces of software. Uh, some of them even have the calculation in an indicator, such as OmniTrader. It's already in the system. You don't need to create anything. You just need to use it. The parameters, so for the periods, used to define the volatility bands. Sorry, let's just go to the volatility bands yesterday. So VBH is the volatility band high and VBL is the low band. So think along the lines of Bollinger or envelopes. The close yesterday plus the range uh, multiplied by the average true range and then the lower one is close, yesterday's close minus the range so as a percentage of the true range. Uh, for this example, I've used four periods on the ATR, okay, for volatility. And then on the range, like I said earlier, I've used the 80%. Uh, don't get too worried about the formula, but it's for guys who, who want to sit down and type it into Metastock. This is what it's going to look like. I then apply a filter. Now, I'm not sure on AMI Broker, I haven't used it before, whether you can apply filters to the scans. 
Uh, but with Metastock and OmniTrader, you can type these filters up. Uh, basically, 75% of the tree range over 15 periods. All right, so the close must be greater than 75% of the range over 15 periods. The close must be 60% above 60% of the daily range. Now remember, this is the filter. So the first part is a trigger. The first part says, well, when price breaks the volatility band, <clears throat> we've got you make the trade. This is the filter that says after the trigger has, has fired, these must all be true. So the close must be greater than 75% of ATR over 15 days. The close must be greater than 60% of the daily range. Uh, the close must be greater than the highest high in the last 15 days. The close must be greater than the 100 EMA. That's the big one. So that's where the trending side comes into it. And the close must be higher than the open. In other words, it must be a green candle. So what we do is we get a signal from the previous slide. We then run the filter, and that would confirm or deny the trade. If all of these points are true, there's five points here. If the five points are true, you then have a signal to trade. The system trades when today's close moves above the band, and that would be the uh, volatility band, defined by yesterday's close plus the ATR and the filter criteria are met. The stop loss is, is quite important. It's, it's reasonably simple, but it only fires after the first red candle. Now, this system I've, I've given today is for longs only. Uh, and it's, it's based on stocks and indices. Uh, you can go and have a look at the index as well, but it's all end of day. I haven't really gone and applied this and studied it on intraday trading. Uh, simply intraday on an index like the Wolsey, for instance, uh, breakouts can be pretty risky trades. Uh, so focusing on, on shares and long only. Shares are always expected to go up. Even when the markets are, are turning or there's bearish markets, uh, this system will not fire any shorts. Okay, the stop loss is after the first red candle, and then you can calculate one ATR over the last 14 periods. So it's only one times ATR over the last 14 periods after the first randle, uh, red candle. That is where your stop loss it then trails up that exact same formula, one ATR behind each successive candle. All right, this is what it looks like visually. Uh, we have there the green circle. We've got price breaking the volatility band. Uh, the filter says it's true, so the filter is true. The Red line here is the moving average, so that the price is above the 100 EMA. Price is broken above the volatility band. Entry price around 70 Rand. And then we can see market takes off. The stop loss only kicked in on the first red candle. Sorry, let's do that. That's where the stop loss kicks in. That's the purple line that now trails one 14 period ATR behind the price. Eventually price breaks below that little purple line and that's the trailing stop loss. So this particular trade exit around 80 Rand, profits around 14% after costs. It looks nice and simple on the chart, uh, but you can see previously uh, quite a bit of math goes into it. Uh, you do require some trend. The stock has to be trending. This is coronation. Uh, the simplest form of trend for myself is the 2189 exponential moving average crossover. As long as that is true, then I can use this particular system, but using the 100 EMA as the guide. So the price must be above the 100. The volatility breakout must occur, and it must fulfill all the filter criteria. So chart looks nice and simple. The reality is quite a bit of math goes into it. I don't think that one can do this manually uh, unless you're only watching one or two charts. You do need a piece of software that you can program this stuff into it. Uh, and then I've excluded the shorts. I just, you know, looking at 
at share charts and that when when it comes to the shorts, I think there are simpler ways to trade it, and volatility didn't seem to be the best way to do it, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I don't really short stocks on this type of system. Uh, another example, all right, and coronation tying this particular type of strategy to other strategies can work as well. And we can see here we have an AB equals CD chart pattern. Uh, it's basically that price and that price are equal in rands and cents. And we can see the pattern fired a buy signal. Now, when it comes to patterns, we don't always, especially this kind of pattern, AB equals CD or Batsa Gartley's, the harmonic type shapes, uh, it's you know, it's a bit tough to just follow them because it looks to you like the trend is down. Uh, you know, you've got falling bottoms, falling tops, it's looking a bit dodge. But the price has remained above the 100 EMA. The 2189 was still up as well. And then the volatility breakout system fires. And that should be giving you a little bit more confidence in following the AB equals CD pattern. You could now apply the rules for, for that, which is available on Just One Lap's website as well as uh, the trader space. Uh, those targets can now be used, and the volatility breakout was just a trigger uh, that helped you get into the position. And we can see what happened. The price did come off. Uh, we had red candles two days running. It never closed below one times ATR over 14 periods and price just took off. Coronation went higher and higher and eventually it broke below the stop loss and the traders exited. Now if you put the AB equals CD targets on there, they were somewhere near the top was the ultimate target. Uh, the first level would have been yeah, at resistance. So even that is a reasonable percentage. Uh, you know, you're talking about a share that's trading around 75, 80 rand at the time, moving through to 85, 90, and through 100. So the volatility breakout could have just been a trigger into another chart pattern. Uh, this still has to follow the rules of the 100 EMA. Um, if you looked at like a bullish head and shoulders, the same thing can be done. Uh, the right shoulder forms and the volatility breakout can give you an early entry signal. So we're not always so keen to follow chart patterns until it's way too late and it's sitting already at the neckline, then we all want to get excited. But the volatility system can help you do that. Uh, so when you get to a turning point, I'm going to go through to some of the charts now uh, to have a little bit more of a look at it. Uh, you, the, the idea was, in a trend, how do I add to a winning share. Now not so much add to your you know, longer term position if you're holding coronation for five years, you don't really need to be adding on CFD basis. But trend is up, how do I get into the stock? Uh, there's a couple of ways. The first one is break of resistance, uh, which is this upper red line over here. Price breaks resistance, the volatility breakout actually got you in a couple of rains earlier, which can make quite a bit of difference to the absolute return of your portfolio. So rather than just saying, okay, fine, this is how we, you know, trade a breakout, uh, I thought of the volatility system is, I've been watching it for years, I've used it quite a few times, uh, I like the idea that on a pullback, as long as the price remains above the 100, and volatility tends to increase at turning points, you can see through this whole downward correction, there were no other volatility buy signals, uh, they did they're down here on the, on the bottom of the chart. Okay, that there, that triangle there is for the AB equals CD. So the volatility system kept you out of false longs. Uh, you might have considered buying on support or something like that. You would have paid interest on your CFDs all the way through. Uh, this little buy signal over here was also a reasonable trade. Market went up nicely, came off broke through stop loss over there, and you're out of the position, you had a nice quick uh, one month trade, decent returns. You stayed out of the downtrend, and that would be just a short term technical downtrend, 
and then the volatility system fires after a chart pattern. I don't know of any other way to really pick uh, these swing trades. Uh, if you if you go back to the the trading webinar I did last time, uh, we looked at the falling lows. So as the the candles make lower lows, it then comes down to some form of support, whether it's on the moving averages or within a range, and then it's got the rising lows. Uh, that is one way to do it. So you can swing trade that way. I just like the fact that the price is actually confirming the direction uh, at a higher level. So trying to pick bottoms is quite a difficult task. Uh, you get it wrong a lot. When you do get it right, you make a lot of money, but it can put a lot of a lot of people off trying to trade like that, uh, just on the on the success rates. Okay, using the system on multiple markets. Uh, as I said in the beginning, you know, I, I sort of looked at it on, on currencies, but I trade those very much long term, and I don't really apply the volatility breakout to that. Uh, I use it mainly for share CFDs and indices on an end of day basis. Of course, you can go and experiment with your preferred instruments uh, and find the best settings for whatever market you're looking at. Uh, normally, what would what would have to change would be your ATR periods. Instead of 14, you might want to bring it down to 8 if it's a really volatile thing. Uh, always bearing in mind that we're looking for strongly trending markets. Uh, so we don't want to be jumping into sideways things. We can go and have a look uh, where we had a nice sideway mass mart, for instance. Uh, this is not a share that's going to work too well on the volatility system. Um, let me just pull up here so we can see the, the signals. So I put the cross here on the volatility system fires along. You're not in the trade long enough. It's a negative return. Uh, this trade sort of worked, but you covered cost with a little bit uh, left. Remember, you're getting in at the top of the candle or the open of the next day, uh, so no money in it. In other words, no system should be followed blindly. Go and do the back testing. Make sure that the, the stock or the instrument that you're looking at actually works with the system. Uh, Simon and I were discussing black boxes a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, even the, the Japanese who are considered black box experts, uh, the greatest black box producers in the world, they continuously tweaking those systems. So there's no such thing as a, a black box system that's going to work and work forever. Uh, so MassMart, you can see a lot of failed failed trades. Uh, the signal's fired, and we just didn't make any money on it. One good trade does not constitute a system. Uh, we can go and have a look quickly at Lewis. OK. Right, now, why would Lewis be interesting? Well, going into the end of the year, uh, these these stocks, uh, the retail sector, tends to have the so-called Santa Claus rally. And we can see downtrend, below the 100, above the 100, below the 100. And now it's starting to break out. You could have drawn in your, your trend line. Uh, let's just do that quickly. You could have had your trend line across the tops. Volatility breakout, it's breaking above the moving average. You've got to be really brave to make that kind of trade. Uh, it's not my favorite way of doing it. But if you were looking at the Santa Claus, really, uh, that was one way to, to get into it. OK, Discovery. Now, Discovery is quite an interesting uh, chart. It's, it is a long-term trending type stock. Uh, if you look at the long-term history, Plenty of trend over there. Market pulls back and takes off again. We've got a trend going. And if we look at these these triggers, higher low, so technically higher low, breaking above the 100, volatility breakout, rules are true. You can see it's broken above the band. Market takes off. First red candle happens quite a while later. Stop loss starts to kick in, trails up, and eventually it gets you out somewhere around 90 Rand. Uh, you were in at around 80 Rand, so 10 Rand on that trade, not a bad go. The next trade kicks in, and it's easier just to look at it like so. And we can see it only gives us a 1.4% return. The next trade, there's a reason for this, there's a 4% return. 
and then we had two really short trades. Uh, that one was really short time, two and a half percent. Now remember, you're gearing this up on CFDs. If you followed the system black box, you actually end up profitable after costs because these are all with commission and slippage. So 2.5 percent. Every one of those trades produced a bit of a profit, and this current one is still operating. The idea is, guys, if you can get a semi-reliable trigger, then you can trade. If you understand what that trigger is telling you, you can adjust your targets, you can adjust your stops. Uh, the idea is to find something that you that you really do understand, and then trade it consistently. Uh, old mutual was an interesting one, and uh, how it worked, we had another AB equals CD, but the pattern failed. Uh, that was the bottom of the pattern there. It fired the buy signal, bullish engulfing, brilliant trade, and then the very next day it stopped you out, closed below support, trade is gone, that AB equals CD is no longer valid. But the reason I pulled up old mutual here was the morning star comes through. The volatility system only fired, what's that, about just about a month later. That is not a trade I would take. Okay, so the market's gone and moved a long way. We had a bit of a V bottom morning star, but it's moved from 30 Rand to a 34 Rand, nearly 34 Rand trigger. Uh, I think it's a little bit too far. So don't get sucked into these into these trades where the market is actually just really sideways. Uh, old mutual strongly trading stock in general, but low, lower high, lower low, and now currently a eh? lower high. So please don't chase the markets. Uh, and then I just, of course, we have to uh, we have to look at Aspen. Okay, so this is the last stop we're going to have a look at. Uh, there's all Aspen signals. And we can see entering over here, oh, just the last two. Reasonable trades, 8%. And then the one that's just stopped out yesterday, uh, you would have exited this morning. That's up a nice 10%. But Aspen does go through you know, some difficult times. Doesn't work on every trade. Again, we've got a long way from the bottom here. Firing on a big volatile candle. Uh, I prefer to have you know, smaller candles when the system fires. All right, so you're welcome to uh, you know get hold of me anytime that you want to chat about the the presentation. Those are my contact details, and I'm sure all of you know how to get hold of Simon if you forget my details. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Simon. Thanks, Warren. Folks, if you've got questions, pop them in. I've got one from. This webinar is proudly brought to you by IG South Africa. Visit igmarkets.co.za to open your trading account today.